I just realized that I look freaking naked right now. I'm not naked, I have on a tank top. I just had to throw that in there because at the end of this video I was like, oh my god, I look naked. I'm not naked. Just, just throwing that out there for you guys. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Vanessa from Our Type Playroom, or you may know me from my main channel, which is Vanessa Ann 0 Today I'm going to be doing a review on these headsets right here. We have the Razer Kraken Pro and the Razer Kraken Pro Neon. They're pretty much the same exact thing, just the colors are different. So I know there's other reviews on the internet of these, but I just wanted to make my own. The way that I came across these headsets in the first place was I had put a pink decal on my PlayStation and I wanted a pink headset to match. I wanted a pink headset so I came across this one and I thought it was so cute. Even though this is supposed to be purple, it looks more like a really deep hot pink to me, so whatever. So we're going to go ahead into this review. I'm like rambling. So this headset is very convenient. The ear cuffs fold upwards, so it kind of compacted a little bit. The cushions actually are movable, which makes it a lot more comfortable. And they're also very soft and plush. My ear pretty much fits inside of this circle, which makes it so much more comfortable. You don't have these cushions pushing up against your ear, which I think makes long wear with these really easy. I use this headset when I edit my YouTube videos and editing takes me hours to do usually so I'm wearing these for hours at a time and they're still comfortable to wear. They are not intended to wear for just everyday like editing and music but I think it works really well for that for me. It has this regular audio cable which I just plug into my laptop when I want to listen to it for just the audio purposes but if you want to use it for a mic on a computer they also include this cable in the box so you just plug the headset into one end and then plug in the mic and audio cable into your laptop and then you have a working mic which I have used for voiceovers in my videos. It's not the greatest quality I've ever heard, but I can get away with it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a voiceover clip of me using this headset right here in this video, just so you guys can hear how my voice sounds when I use the microphone on my laptop. And yeah, let's go ahead and add that clip. Hey guys, here I am using my Razer Kraken Pro Neon headset, and this is how it sounds when I plug it into my laptop. Alright, so another thing that a lot of people want to know about this headset, and I was very curious about it myself too, because if this wasn't going to work with a PS4, I was not going to be very interested in it. Even though I use it for editing, I want to be able to use this when I'm on the PlayStation as well. And yes, you can plug this cable directly into your controller. And you can use it as a mic and a audio device. You just have to plug it in and wiggle it around a little bit until the microphone pops up in your party or wherever you are talking. And it will work. It may take a few tries, just wiggle it around and press it in when your mic shows up and you'll be good to go. So I promise you this headset works with the PlayStation 4. This headset is my boyfriend's headset and he uses it every day on his PlayStation 4 and it works great for him. So yeah. It has a retractable mic. So you can pull out the mic when you're using the headset. And it's also adjustable, you can bend it every which way and just put it where it's more comfortable for you. And then when you are not using the headset, you can just press it back into its little hole so it's out of the way. Very convenient, especially if you're just editing videos like I do. You don't want that mic in your face. I get it. The top part of the headset, it's not very cushioned. Um, it almost feels a little bit cheap when you move it around, but I don't know why you'd be doing that anyway, but 
that doesn't bother me at all i think that the more important part is the comfort of the earpiece which like i said it's very comfortable for long wear in my opinion when you are gaming with this headset which like i said is its intended use when you're gaming the audio is great i think that the explosions and gunshots really sound amazing with this headset the bass is great and i think that's what they were going for it's just it sounds amazing so there's that this headset is relatively affordable i believe it runs for about 80 dollars which is a decent price for this headset i think that it's very comfortable the audio is great the mic is all right so for the price that you're paying i think that this is an awesome headset which would explain why we each have one Again, this one's the Razer Kraken Pro. I believe it comes in white and green. I got Ruben the white one because he has a white PlayStation. And then this headset comes in blue, yellow, orange, green, purple, and maybe red. I'm not sure. This one comes in a lot of different colors. I'll go ahead and insert a picture in this video so you guys can see. But yeah these are awesome for the price they're not going to be like a hundred percent the best gaming headset you've ever used in your life but for the price they're pretty freaking awesome so i think that that's all that i have to say to you guys thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you like videos like this from us go ahead and let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll make sure that we do more review type videos for you guys. We are trying to make this channel a lot better by upping the quality and expanding our content. So giving this video a thumbs up will really help us out and let us know that you guys are interested in that. So that is all that I have to say to you guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will hopefully be seeing you in my next one. Bye guys.